So in case you guys didn't know, every five years the world hosts a World Expo. And it just so happens the next one happens to be in the year 2025, which also happens to be held in Osaka, Japan. The same very hometown as probably one of the most famous female human-like robots, which is Erica, and her creator, Professor, the mad scientist, Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro. And I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to visit Japan in 2025. So the World Expo is an event that usually takes place for six months out of the whole year. In 2020, it was held in Dubai. In 2030, it's scheduled to be in Busan, South Korea. But in 2025, the expo is going to be in Osaka, Japan. Anyways, check out some of the footage that I found about 2025. Anyways, check this you out. met me on the street. Would I startle you? Would you greet me just like any other person? The relationship between robotics and the human body is closer than you might think. In the not so distant future, even robots like me might be a part of everyday life. When I was seven years old, I visited Expo 70 Osaka. Many of the technologies on display there seem improbable, but today, nearly 50 years later, they are commonplace. My name is Hiroshi Ishiguro. I'm a roboticist. At my pavilion at Expo 2025 Osaka, Kansai, Japan, I will explore how humanity will evolve through technology. What will the world be like in 50 years? We need only imagine. We humans, we've come a long way to get where we are today. Looking back, it's hard to believe what we have achieved. What drives us forward? What spurs us on? It's our insatiable need to learn and know, to do and grow, to twiddle and tweak, and 2.0. We humans, we're never done. We've made monuments and cut through continents, mastered human flights, sent up satellites, walked in outer space, created user interface, built cities on sand, turned sea into land, and still, we're not done. We made levitating trains and open world games, constructed super towers and grids for solar power, made houses smart, turned food into art, built self-driving cars and taught bots to play guitars. But no, we're not done. We found cures for disease, performed symphonies, probed the ocean floors, made machines do our chores, deconstructed quarks, studied great white sharks, sequenced our genomes and even 3D printed homes. Are we done yet? Oh no, we're not done. In fact, we need to do even more than ever before. Our planet is in need of help. There are challenges we can't ignore. But remember, we are humankind. No job's too big if we set our minds. If we all embrace the spirit that there really is no limit. If we rise to this occasion and come together across nations. If we integrate and ideate. We... Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you, you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. 